Hi guys, it is Sahara back with another video. This is part two of my Thread Up Rescue Box haul. Um, if you didn't see part one, basically I decided to order some shoe boxes from Thread Up. Thread Up basically has Thread Up Rescue Boxes you can find on their website, which are basically bulk mystery boxes of thrifted items. So that's two boxes I ordered. Um, are all shoes and they're a mix of sizes of women's shoes. These boxes were $80 each and so they had 15 pairs in them. It breaks down to about $5.33 a pair which I figured is a pretty low cost of goods for shoes and so I'm hoping that I can easily make my money back on these and then a pretty good profit. So let's see what I got. I am so excited to open up this box and get right into it. Let's see. So I will link the um, first video I did of my first box in the description so you guys can watch that if you didn't see it already. And make sure you subscribe to my channel if you like seeing thrift hauls like this, mystery thrift hauls, um, what sold videos, learning about how to resell clothing and shoes online. Definitely subscribe to my channel because I'm going to be sharing lots of content to help you guys with that. So, get into the box. Alright, these are awesome. Oh my gosh. I sold a pair of Nike sandals like this before. These are in way better condition. And I was surprised at what an excellent sell-through rate had. Because the other ones, I grabbed them at the bins. And I was just going to keep them for myself. Um... But I wound up selling them, and I was surprised they sold super fast. These are a size 9, which is my size. So I'm once again tempted to keep them for myself, just because they're so comfy. They have this, like, memory foam, foam comfort footbed. Oh my gosh, they're so comfy. These are in excellent condition, though, so I will be selling them. Hopefully $25 to $30 for these. I'm not sure. I will post the exact comps, the sell-through rate, and what they're selling for for each item on the screen as I go through the box. So for the first item, that's pretty good. It gives me hope for this box. All right, let's see what is next. All right, these are cool looking. These are Rock and Republic, which isn't an amazing brand, but I feel like this style would do well. It's got these little like spike things on the side. That looks really cool. They're all red, platform heels, um, in pretty good condition. Not a ton of wear to the bottoms. These are a size, well, let's show me, they are leather. It's hard to read on that one. My lighting in here is not that great. So I will let you guys know the size after when I find them. So yeah, these look like probably a size like seven and a half, eight. But these are in great shape and they're a really cool style, so I'm excited about those. And like I said, I don't usually pick up that brand, so it's going to be a learning experience for me. Hey, right, these are really cute. I'm already liking this box way better than the second, so I'm kind of glad I got two boxes. So I feel like it gave me like a better example of like what you could expect. Um, and I actually ordered the two boxes by accident. Um, okay, so these are J. Crew. They are little like square toed flats. They got bows on the back. They're like mesh, polka dot. I feel like a really unique style that somebody out there is gonna love. I'm trying to find the size. Okay, so seven and a half. And I've heard from other resellers, and my experience has been that flats are more on trend right now and they're doing better than in the past few years. So I'll be excited to see how these perform. They do have a little bit of wear on the bottoms for sure. Uh, that's kind of gross. <laughs> Hopefully I can get that off. I didn't see that at first. And then on the leather up here, there's definitely some wear. So I would hope to get at least $20 for these, but we'll see with that wear how they do. Okay. All right. So these are some Michael by Michael Kors. Super chunky platform wedges they've got like this cork style but what's cool about these is like look at that shape I feel like you don't see like a rectangular kind of square shape on the back like that as much with wedges they're pretty like solid feeling 
Definitely really cute. I will be interested to see how these perform. These are a size 9. These have a leather upper, so that's good. And these are in pretty excellent condition. I would definitely hope to get at least $20 for those. Okay. Let's see what these are. I'm not familiar with some of these brands, which is fun because I get to learn some new brands for sure. All right. These are by Taryn Rose. Definitely never heard of that brand before. These are like a patent leather. They are in pretty good condition. Little heeled sandals. The bottoms look really good. These are a size 6. So I will definitely be interested to see how these sell. Okay. Oh my gosh. These look interesting. These look really nice. I am curious to see what they are. D.W. Timberland. Oh my gosh. These look expensive. They are like laces. Oh, the rubber band is like caught in the clasps. Alright, so they definitely need lace up. Oh my gosh, these are a nine and a half. <laughs> so it would like fit me perfectly. These are beautiful, guys. Oh my gosh. Beautiful, like knee high Timberland lace up boots. These are amazing. They're in a nine and a half, which is an amazing size. Look at the bottoms, barely worn at all. They have pink laces. They have these literally little Timberland tassels on them. Oh my gosh, I am so excited to see what the comps are on these. Definitely my favorite find out of both shoe boxes so far. This shoe box is definitely way better than the last one. I might have to go on and order another one of these shoe boxes. I am really enjoying this. I love selling shoes, so I might have to buy another shoe rack after this. All right, so these are another Michael, Michael Kors, which is cool because I don't pick those shoes up a lot. So I'll be really interested to see how, like I've gotten like three pairs, I think at least, of Michael Kors shoes now. I'm gonna be interested to see how they perform. And then I might, you know, I'll just know more about whether I should be picking them up or not. These are in excellent, excellent condition. Beautiful black leather heels. Definitely like a stiletto. These are a size 10. Bottoms have barely any wear. They have these really cute little Michael Kors charms on the back. Definitely like these ones. I would hope for sure I could get maybe $25 to $30 for those. You're right, these look really interesting. These look like some shoes I picked up at the bins before that didn't really do great because they just look so like nice, like some kind of foreign like leather shoe brand. These are called Tremp. They say made in Italy. And they have like a very like defined outsole shape, like very, very hard, hard bottoms, which is interesting. They're in excellent condition. And um, let's see if I can find the size anywhere. Size 40. So pretty good size. That's like, what, like an eight and a half to nine. Um, really good condition. I'll be interested to see what the comps on these are. Okay. Oh my gosh. This box is so much better. Oh my gosh. I am going to have to order another one of these boxes today and just hope it's just as good as this one. These are Tory Birch flip-flop sandals yes they're just little flip-flops but Tory Burch sandals do so good anything Tory Burch these are a size 7 I've literally only found Tory Burch once at the regular thrift store when I first started reselling actually okay I take that back I have another pair of Tory Burch sandals that have been listed a while that haven't sold I've been really confused why they've been sitting so long <laughs> should probably relist them or something all right, so th that was a great find. I'm super happy about those. These look interesting. They look a little bit more worn than the other shoes. These say NDC made by hand, size 35. They're like an espradilla. I feel like I'm so bad at saying that word. <laughs> espradilla. Espradilla. Um, <laughs> flat loafer sandals, suede. 
pink color. Um, I don't know if you can see very well, but the suede does look a bit more worn than I would like or than I'd usually pick up probably. But I'll be interested to learn about this brand, see how they sell. If it's nothing special or anything, I would probably list these for more like $10 to $15 just because of the condition. So, but either way, I'll still be making a profit. There's nothing wrong with these. Okay, these almost look like men's shoes. Yeah, these are men's. Alright, well that's cool. Some men's shoes thrown in the box. These are Adidas ZX. These are a size 8 in men's. These are in really good condition. I'm not familiar with the specific style from Adidas, but I'll just look them up. Wow, they're, yeah, they're definitely in really good condition. There's a little bit of stuff on the bottom, but they look like they were barely worn, so that should definitely help. There is a little bit of, I don't know if you can see that, like the foam coming out here, but otherwise great condition, and I'll be curious to see what these sell for. It's cool that there's a men's pair. Right, what? Okay, this box is so good, guys. It's the gift that keeps on giving. These are some Kate Spade flats, black patent leather, bows. So cute. They're a little bit worn, but not too bad. Let's see if I can find a size. Nope. I'll have to look more later. So these are really cute. I will be interested to see what these go for. Definitely happy to get those. All right. Oh my gosh. Some Madewell sandals. Wow, I am really glad I got the two boxes because this box is so different from the last one. All right, so these are Madewell sandals. Definitely leather the ankle strap these are the size they say November 18 I guess is when they were made look completely leather not seeing the size in that spot but oh a size 8 it says on the bottom so definitely super happy with those very cute and very good condition oh my gosh guys it is another pair of Tory Burch sandals it is raining so hard outside I hope that my audio is still gonna be good these are so pretty navy blue patent leather of the big T logo these will definitely sell super happy about those and let's see can I find the size yep. oh, that's the serial number <laughs> Um, eight and a half it looked like what does it say no six and a half it was like eight and a half they look so small so six and a half all right I almost I really almost don't like how they're rubber banding these because like look at these leather shoes they're like look how like tight that is that's like wearing into the shoes because of how tight they made the rubber bands <laughs> I feel like they should do that a little bit looser but I'll just stuff some like craft paper in there and that should help them get back to their shape. These are Talbot's white leather loafers. I feel like I don't see Talbot's shoes a lot. So that's kind of cool. These are a size 6. They say genuine leather and they feel like it. Very pretty white loafers. They're in pretty good condition. And they seem to bounce back pretty good from the rubber band. So I guess it wasn't as bad as I thought. So those are good. Happy with those. Okay, these are some more Adidas. These are a size 10. I guess these are women's. The best way to tell if it's women's or men's in shoes is to look at the European size. Um, and compare that and so also the brands can vary in what they say the US size is and what they say the European size is so if you go look at that specific brands shoe size chart that is the best way to figure out if they are men's or women's if you're not sure these are some more Adidas ultra boosts excellent condition I don't see hardly anything wrong with them I have sold these before for a good amount so I'm really happy to grab these 
rhyme blue is what it says on the inside not that you guys can see it all so we're gonna have to figure out some better lighting <laughs> i got the new camera and now i gotta figure out lighting um i'm really happy to get these in the box so wow oh my gosh that box was amazing guys what do you think would you have been happy to get this box would you have been happy to get these gorgeous timberland boots I am so happy <laughs> right now after opening that box. It was definitely like 10 times better than the first box. So I will probably, probably be ordering another one if they still have the offer on their website. They do change out like every week what rescue boxes they have available. So if you are like interested in their boxes, if maybe like you don't have good thrift stores around you and you think you want to try using thread up boxes to source some of your inventory I would definitely make sure you check like every week to see when they're posting new boxes and more options because I know like sometimes with like their clothing boxes they'll only have certain sizes and they'll only have like really small sizes available because the bigger sizes sell out quicker or something probably so definitely keep an eye out on the website and I will link that in the description below too so thank you guys so much for watching um definitely like the video if you enjoyed it and please subscribe to my channel so you can see when i post new videos and new content to help you in your reselling business thank you guys so much i hope you have a blessed day